tonight, amen. But would you please just stand with me in honor of the word of God, amen. In honor of the word of God, amen. Genesis chapter 26, verse number 25, for a few minutes, and I got to be able to do this, amen. I'm a veteran. I'm a 20-something year veteran of preaching, glory to God, so I should be able to get this in before the clock strikes 20. That gives me about 12 minutes, and some of them looks like I've already gone. Amen. <laughs> that one tell us anymore. You got three minutes, you got three minutes. You got three minutes and two minutes and 30 seconds already gone. Man, you can't get that 30 seconds. That one used to tell us in the hall. That means you better hurry up, buddy. Glory to God. And he built an altar there. Talk about Isaac. And called upon the name of the Lord. And pitched his tent there, and there Isaac's servants dug a well. Amen. Look at somebody and tell them, Shane, Shane, your routine, your routine in 2015. Glory to God. Now look at somebody and tell them, you've been living in 2014. For God is about to bring you alive. God is about to bring you alive in 2015. He's going to bring you alive. Amen. Where's the Abbey Seas? Where's the Abbey Seas? Glory to God. The scripture says, Amen. The scripture says, Glory to God. And he built an altar there. Amen. And called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there. And their Isaac's servants dug a well. Now, Lord, glory to God, for my text to fit, glory to God. You have to understand, Amen, Isaac and his story. Isaac, right now, glory to God, is down in the land of Gerah. And while Isaac is in the land of Gerah, glory to God, Isaac went down to the land of the Philistines, and Gerah, glory to God, is in Philistia, he, he, but it was kind of on the outskirts of the city. God told him not to see, God tell us sometimes not to go somewhere, and what we do is, is we'll go there, we try to get as close to it as we can. We know God said, don't go there, glory to God. Mm -hmm. So we try to get, you know how sometimes you might come up, glory to God, you better not go to that party. Mm -hmm. And so you ain't going to the party, you better stood on the corner by the party. <laughs> and then your mama said, did I tell you not to go? You said, mama, I ain't going out to the party. I thought we was standing over. I just got close enough to see what was going on. I got close enough to get a taste of what was going on. Glory to God, you ain't telling the whole truth because you did go down there long enough to get one dance in before you got back to the corner. Amen. So God told Isaac, He said, Don't go down there. And what Isaac did, Isaac got as close as he could. He got to gear up. And watch this when Isaac got down to gear up, glory to God, we're talking about changing your routine. Isaac got down to gear up. The Bible says, you will notice it. The Bible says, if you read this text, there are three different times that Isaac, glory to God, or his servants dug a well that had already been dug. Hmm. And every time they redug that well, the men of Gera covered that well back up. Amen? amen. Glory to God. In other words, Isaac, amen, was, was disobeying God because Isaac was trying to get to the promise of God. He was trying to get to the promise of God, glory to God, but he was in disobedience to God. And so when he was, when, as he was digging well, every time he dug the well, the enemy came and covered that well back up. He covered that well back up. So he's at a place where God told him not to go. He knows he's not supposed to be there. And even though, watch this, even though because God is a good God, even though it's a dangerous thing, it's a dangerous thing, because God is so good, amen, even when you're out of place, God is still in his place. And sometimes, glory to God, because we're still being blessed, we think we're all right. Sometimes, glory to God, because God, I mean, God, see, see, see you, you really have to receive all that God has for you. How many know, glory to God, if you just catch some of the residue? See, if you catch some of the residue of the goodness of God, amen, it's so said, amen, you, you go to heaven, amen, you see some, glory to God, when you see something else, is better than what you saw. Yes, Amen. Sometimes, glory to God, we experience the residue of who God is, and it's so good yes. that it, it messes our mind up that we begin to think in our finite mind, in our, in our finite mind that we're all right. Because the blessings are still flowing. So Isaac is experiencing the blessings of God. He's experiencing the promises of God. But every time he gets home to that well, he only holds on to it for a little while. Anybody ever notice that? Even though it's good, 
it only lasts a little while. Even though it's good, it only lasts a little while. Amen. And so as he, he, he experienced the water from the well, the enemy came along and covered that well back up. And Isaac, he kept moving from place to place. And he went to dig the well that had been dug. Amen. And so what we have to understand and realize is, glory to God, is God didn't call you to dig what somebody else already knew. All right. See, some of us know it's God. We, 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 we spent all of 2014 trying to do something that's been done. Yes. And God is a God that's doing something. He's not doing what's been done. God, the scriptures say God is doing up. So why we spend all our time trying to do what he needs? And we try to do it like we saw somebody else. How many know when God created you, he created you an individual? So you ain't got no business, bro. That's my glory to God. This, this guy get up and preach. This guy get up and preach. These preachers get up and preach. They preach and they love us too. They preach out of who they are. We don't teach around here, glory to God, and try to preach like nobody else. You preach to be who you are. You never see one of us try to be T.D. Jakes. You never see one of us trying to be Kirkland Dollar. You never see one of us, Lord God, trying to be somebody else. Amen. You got to be who you are. Amen. Because when you start trying to dig wells that somebody else already dug, you will find that glory to God, the blessing don't last that long. So I was going to God, he's digging these wells, he's digging these wells, and he's experiencing the promise of God just for a little while, just for the bits and pieces of what it is that God has. How many of you going to God tired of bits and pieces? How many times of bits and pieces, glory to God? How many know it's more? Amen. It's more, glory to God. But what you got to do, you got to get in place. See, in order to be prepared for that thing we're preparing for you, you got to position yourself. You got to get in place. So that when God starts releasing, so, see, God only releases stuff to the place that you're supposed to be, not the place that you are. He releases those things that you need in the place that you're supposed to be. And so when those things are released, if you're not there, look at somebody and tell them, you miss it. Yes. Glory to God, sometimes we miss what God is doing because we're in the wrong place. <laughs> we're in the wrong place. Glory to God, watch this, amen. He went to those different places. And after glory to God, now, the last place he went to, amen, the Bible said he redug their well. And when he redug their well, glory to God, didn't nobody bother. Then nobody bothered when he to redug that last well. The last well he redug, that number of men of Europe bothered with it. See, because what the enemy do is, man, the enemy, the enemy, glory to God, will mess with you so much and so long until, glory to God, he lets you go because he feels like you don't got comfortable where you are. And if you're comfortable where you are, you won't try to leave where you are because you're satisfied where you are. And so when he dug that last well, they gear, the men of Europe left him alone. But good God Almighty. Look at somebody say, but God. But God. You see, glory to God. See, what God is always waiting on, God is waiting on you to get in a position to where you can hear his voice. Somebody say again. 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 See, see, there are many of us in here. It's not that we can't hear God, it's just that we ain't listening to God. Because we've heard God, somebody say, before. Glory to God. But God wants you to hear him. In order for you to hear him again, glory to God, even when the enemy messes with you, you got to keep pressing. Huh? Ready, to, ready to give up. Somebody's raise your hand. Ready to give up. Sometimes ready to throw in the towel. But you got to do like Paul. Paul said, I press toward the mark. For the prize of the high calling of God, which is where? It's in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. So what the enemy is trying to get you to do, he trying to get you to stop, trying to get us to stop pressing before we get to the blessing. I'm saying, he gets you to stop pressing before you get to the blessing, you'll start saying, I can do it without the blessing. But if you can do it without the blessing, you'll never start chasing the blessing in the beginning. Don't let the enemy, glory to God, come up so many wells on you that you just throw in the towel and decide that you don't want what God has for you. Amen. Glory to God. So he says, amen, here in verse 25, amen, he says, and he built an altar there. Watch this. Glory to God. How did he get there? After in verse 23, he said, and he went up from thence to Beersheba. You know, he left here. He left where he wanted to stop at and ended up where God wanted him at in the beginning. 
This is what God was trying to get him to right here. He was trying to get him to the place of Beersheba. He was trying to get him, glory to God, to this place because this place didn't have no will that Abraham had already done. He was trying to get him to the place, glory to God, where he wasn't depending on what somebody else had did before him, but he got to get to a place where he learned to depend on God. See, that's what somebody got to do going into 2015, amen. You got to place, glory to God, you can't depend on mama, dad, and sister, brother. Uh, you know, sometimes God will call other folk to go broke because you're leaning on them too much. Sometimes God calls folk around money because you need so much money. And you're trying to get all your money from them instead of getting it from him. And so some of y'all have called folk to go broke. Trying to help you out. Glory to God. But God got him at the place he needed him at the place of Bishop. Watch this, glory God. When he got the Bishop, and I'm done. When he got the Bishop, he didn't dig no wells. He built an altar. I see somebody chasing the promise without the presence. When he built that altar, glory to God, he built an altar. He began to acknowledge God is not the promise I need, but it's the promise I need. And if I get the promise, I got the promise. If I get the promise of God, I got the promise of God. And so what he did was, he got to the place, good God Almighty, somebody need to get to the place that God been trying to get you to. You've been hanging, glory to God, out. And you've been hanging out on the outskirts and God trying to get you into a place so he can show you his promise so you can experience his promise. When, 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 when Isaac realized what was going on, he realized I've been trying to dig in a place that other people already do and the enemy keep coming up. He said, what it is, amen, I need an authentic encounter with God. I've been running on what my mama said. I've been running on what my daddy said. I've been running on what my preacher said. I need glory to God and I want somebody to say authentic. I need an authentic move of God in my life so I can understand that it's God that's able to do exceedingly abundantly above. Anything I can act, think, or imagine. If he sent you to do it through you, that's all right. But I ain't expecting it from you. I ain't believing it from you. I ain't calling you to see if God has said something to you. If God says something to you, it's God says something to you. Not me trying to manipulate him to say something to you. So when Isaac got to this, he built to say an altar. He stopped looking for the promises of God. And he started looking for the presence of God. You see, that thing you're looking for, you will find it when you get to the place where you need to be. Where do you need to be? You need to be in the presence of the Lord. For the Bible says, when the Spirit of the Lord is. Somebody say there's liberty. There's liberty. There's liberty. Somebody say, thank God.